I'm working on making a knife for somebody who really, really likes bees, honeybees in particular. And so I've got some of this aluminum um, grid that I'm going to make some knife scales out of with some resin. And I've got it marked with some lines on it for just cutting out straight scales. And the camera might be able to pick up. I've got some little uh, hexagons down here that I'm also going to cut out. And the reason I have those is for this mold that I've got. I went ahead and cut some pieces that have a hexagon mixing from them. And I'm going to put that in the center of it and see how that works out. Not sure which ones are actually going to wind up on the knife in the end. It'll all depend on how things turn out. But I also have, that I'm going to set in here, some little bees. That I'll go ahead and uh, grind away some of the material and set them in there. Then we'll mix up some resin that looks like honey and fill it all in. And we should have some honeycomb scales to put on a knife. The little bees that I found on Amazon uh, have a little loop on them because they're for a charm bracelet. And I'm going to go ahead and take that little loop off and it'll just look like some antennae. And I'll do the same thing with it. I'll just take it off with the Dremel tool. Now each of these is going to need a bee set in it. Basically going to set them a little off-center Just because I think it looks better than if I tried to center them up So they're going to be kind of where their abdomen or their head is going to be in the center Depending on which way I want to lay them in there And they're going to take up almost four cells of this so I need to go ahead and take away just a little bit of the divider between all four of these cells. I don't know if that marker is going to show up on camera or not. Uh, it looks like I might get, be able to get a shot of it. But I'm just going to take a carbide burr and grind down almost halfway into these uh, this aluminum grid. B should fit down in there. And we may give that needs to be a little bit deeper. I guess I should. There we go. Like I said, dot of glue, hold her in there, and then some resin to fill it all up make it look like honeycomb
Next, I'm going to probably use these um, walnut scales, walnut and bee scales. I like the way that they, the contrast that I've got on those. Uh, the curly maple and bees are pretty good too. Backup plan, of course, will be to just use the scales that have um, just the resin and aluminum. And I'm going to take this yellow, it's a vulcanized fiber liner material, and I'm going to uh, glue that to the back of these to help kind of hold everything together, I think, and also um, provide that little bit of extra color and yellow in the background. So the parts that are a little bit clearer look more honey-like. We're just going to epoxy that all together. It is really important to get everything laid out and ready before you go ahead and clamp something, or before you go ahead and glue something. So you've got it all ready to go, and you don't have to start rushing around looking for something when you've got five-minute epoxy starting to cure. Disappointingly, these scales didn't work out. I got all the way to the point where I was starting to trim them and get the shape done on them, and I realized that even though I got them straight when I drilled them, I didn't get them straight when I went to put them back together after I took them off the knife to do the trimming and got one of them turned around, and so now they don't line up on the back, on the spine of it. So this one is set further back than that one. So I'm going to go to plan B, which is the curly maple scales. And I'm going to go ahead and glue those up and hopefully not do the same thing to them. Okay, these turned out a little bit better. Now it's just a matter of some hand sanding and some polishing and stain and finish, and then we can see the bees. Got the yellow liners in the back. Didn't lose any chips of the resin out. That was something I was worried about, and it didn't seem to happen on these. But let's sand these up and polish them and get that... Uh, Curly maple will start showing some of its grain. Okay, now that I've got everything all polished up, there's still some uh, cloudiness to the resin and to the bees, and it actually makes it, I think, look more naturally like honey. But I've got everything finished, shaped. You can see the yellow liners, honeycomb pattern, and of course, uh, the steel is that uh, 256 layer. Damascus billet that I made a few weeks ago and made a knife out of. This is another piece of that. There should be four or five more knives out of that still. It was a big chunk of steel. There's a couple things that I would probably could do a little bit better on finish, but it's a nice straight blade. I think it looks good, especially with the curly maple handle. Um, I would have preferred to have that walnut with the darker color, but the curly maple always looks good with the Damascus pattern. So now that that's done, I need to move on to a sheath. 